hi, hi, Facebook. Hi. <laughs> um, I, I, I just didn't, I didn't really know where else to turn. I'm, I'm trying to solve a, a mystery. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure something out. Um, I'm, a, I'm on my way to set up for Katarina's 24th birthday party. It's, it's Y2K themed, but, but not like Y2K end of time things, but more like middle of the 2000s. Like when, when Britney Spears and Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie were running around in tracksuits giving everyone body dysmorphia. That's the theme. That's the theme. Oh, not body dysmorphia, but like 2004 sleepover, like the movie. Anyway, um, I, I was getting in the car with all of the accoutrement and a birthday present buckled in the back seat and, um, I got face masks for the end of the night and an iPod full of 2000s jams. I'm, I'm worried I got some of them wrong. Was Flo Rida making music at the same time Paris Hilton was like super famous? Was Stars Are Blind the same era as Shoddy Got Low? Is that right? I, I think that's right. I, I, I was in elementary school for both. Uh, whatever. I, sorry. Stress. We're doing, we're doing our best. Um, anyway, uh, I, um, I saw this, I saw this on the windshield and, um, it's not my birthday. It's Katarina's birthday, but the card is addressed to me. Uh, and I was, I was looking at the handwriting and I thought maybe my grandma thought it was my birthday, even though it isn't because, you know, old people are like that, but uh, she doesn't live here. She lives in Michigan. Not, not to dox my grandma, but so yeah, I, I, I texted all my friends and asked if they knew of anyone who thought it was my birthday because I, I sent out the text invite. And maybe they thought I was inviting people to my birthday party, but no one has any theories. Frankly, they mostly didn't reply. Other people were just like, who cares? It's a card but I care. I care because what if I am being stalked? And then I thought the stalker knows my birthday. Birthdays are so easy to find. I'm pretty, like, I am, I am pretty sure it is on my Facebook profile. So they, they would know my birthday's in March. So, so yeah, I just, I, mm, I don't know. And, and then I thought maybe they want me to deliver it to Katerina, but it is addressed to me and it, it is not signed. I just, I didn't know where else to ask and the 2000s have been on my brain. So I thought Facebook. So maybe, maybe someone on here left it or, or knows who did. Uh, if you did leave it, one, how do you know where I live? Two, thank you, but it, it's not my, not my birthday. And three, if you are stalking me, please stop. I don't think I have the strength to be stalked. I, I, I see all these devastating and inspiring stories of women who overcome being stalked. I see I see it on TikTok all the time. I, I I don't I don't know. The algorithm keeps pushing them on me. I probably interacted with one of them forever ago or something. I don't I don't know how it works. Obviously, I'm I'm an anxious person. And I live alone. And and every person I see on the street I think is going to kill me. Every man at least. And I'm scared that I'm scared that I make men feel bad because I always rush ahead and keep I keep my keys between my fingers and, and fake a phone call. And but anyway, it's better it's better to be safe than sorry, right? And logically logically I know that every man on the street does not want to kill me, but what if one does? What if like, what if like one of those girls on TikTok, like, the, like a guy, like at the bar, puts an air tag on them and then follows me home and then left me a card? Or what if it's someone I know? It's, it's, it's usually someone the victim knows. What, what, what if it's one of you? Those, those girls on TikTok, they fight. They, they go for it. They really, they really battle the system and misogyny and, and they go after these men who stalk them. And I don't think I have the mental fortitude for that. Okay. I don't think I can handle that because I have, I have been through a lot recently, um, like with COVID and school and, and I know I'm worried about getting monkeypox because I, I saw this guy on TikTok and he had monkeypox and he had this giant thing on his face and I am finally out of place with my skin or my acne is gone and I really don't want to have to go through that again and I really don't want to get monkeypox and I really don't want to be stopped. Birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Katerina. Happy birthday to you, me. You, me. Oh my god. I can't post this on Facebook. Oh my god. Oh my god. and be crazy and have fun. You really can push yourself to do amazing things in such a limited period of time. The best art needs limitations and the greatest limit of all time is time. The artists that are as kooky and crazy and imaginative and as go for it minded as you are. It's about being bold. It's about challenging yourself. It's gonna teach you the lessons that you'll be able to take with you through every audition and every rehearsal and every show. Trust your instincts because they're correct and you don't have time to second guess them anyway. The 24 hour plays has provided such an amazing community for me and I would not be the artist I am today without it. Don't hold back. Embrace the stress and just go for it.